Hello, <laughs> welcome to Dork Court. I'm Larry Young. <laughs> and I'm Walker Young. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> so we're here today because we saw Larry's video, his top 10 movies that he didn't include. So we're going to actually say our top 10 movies. Well, Steve's going to say his and I'm going to shoot them all down. <laughs> no, no, I mean, it's not... We forgot on. a lot of movies. They forgot a lot yeah, of movies. Yeah. yeah. So I well, think there were two on the list that I immediately were like okay with. So okay. I thought Raiders is Raiders is too good of a movie not to be on the top ten. I yes. think that's a fair that's that's safe. One of the ideas I wanted to bring today was if Indiana Jones actually did anything during Raiders. <laughs> if it was that whole argument where he just was there the entire time helping everything go move along. But I don't want to start that. All right. <laughs> that's another that's another conversation. Yes. Um, and then the other one that I kept on there was Star Wars, because I think that's just too good. Phantom but, Menace. Yeah, Phantom Menace, exactly. <laughs> but <laughs> if we have to cross that off to include Blade Runner, I would be okay with that. Oh, okay. Blade Runner. But the, 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 and, but the reason I kept on Star Wars is because it has too many good, um, like copies or I don't know what you want to call it like, oh, like message it, from space or like yeah. all these other weird like all the movies that we love have things that they took from Star Wars yes okay. kinda alright so Star Wars stays on it alright so then the first one I'm removing off of Larry's list is Die Hard and I'm replacing it with Lethal Weapon that's a bold choice wow <laughs> but that's only because I like the buddy cop movie yeah. I don't care for the lone cop movie do they ever explain that he's from Australia or is he just like who Riggs no he's American with that accent <laughs> no, I mean, he, I mean, yes, no, yes. So, all right, that's the first one I removed. But I don't I, think I ever even thought of that. I might. I'm from Detroit. <laughs> no, he doesn't have an accent. He has no accent in it. He speaks perfectly good English. You have to watch that again. Yeah, he does Larry's uh, Jason Statham impression. The entire, the I, entire doubt movie. I doubt that. I doubt that. So I replaced Die Hard with Lethal Weapon. Fletch, we love Fletch too much, so I can't remove that either. So I think okay. I, I, you know, my daughter even likes Fletch. So. Um, so the next, so then what I did was he had Escape from New York and Big Trouble in Little China together. Okay. I added Tombstone into there and just made it the Three. the Kurt yeah. Russell trilogy. Yeah, that's fine. Because I think it's like yeah, judges accept. Right, it's like your best. I don't know sci-fi Kurt Russell film, your best comedy Kurt Russell film, and then your best. Oh, here's his Man, list. That's the and oh, then and then your best like and then he does a western. And then I actually just watched Death Proof the other day, which he's the villain in, and that's awesome as well. Yes, uh, but I'm not putting that on there. All right, that's so then the uh, next one... His second best hair movie, I think. Which one? Uh, Death Proof. His best hair? Is that second best. Sec Big the Trouble is his first? That's his best hair? Sorry, what's uh, Kurt Russell's best hair movie? I would say uh, Escape from New York. Escape from New York. Yeah. Okay. Not like Kid with the the computer with the red yeah. shoes or something like that? <laughs> Or like oh, he no. plays Elvis. No, he plays Elvis. Three thousand miles yeah, to Graceland. Yeah, that's not his hair. That's Elvis's hair. Yeah, it's his hair. <laughs> I would say, you know what? The CG hair from Ga uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Oh, okay. Oh, when but, he's young. When he's young. Yeah, but right. best beard has to be the thing, right? Oh, I don't know. Hateful Eight is pretty good. Oh, oh damn. This is Dang. <laughs> his mustache and Hateful Eight is my spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so I added the th three. So I mean, I'm sure my list is now like at twelve. I'm not even following. Um, all right, so the next one I removed. See, he had Armageddon. He has Armageddon. I removed that and I put in Unforgiven. Okay. But I'm a but I'm a Western guy, and Larry's a space Western. guy. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm I like Western movies. So um, and then I just think because that movie is just too good. I'm trying to think what movie would you two meet in the middle of of like a Western? Oh, West. Cowboys and Aliens, maybe. I love uh, <laughs> I love High Plains Drifter. I love that movie. Yeah. And Tombstone, you guys finally got me to watch Tombstone. That movie's amazing. Yeah, right. I don't know. Well, how... why'd you hold off on that? I just, I think I was in college when it came out, so I was doing other stuff, and then I just never I was like, oh, that's Man. the movie everybody likes. I just never <laughs> had a chance to watch it. Sounds right. So he's got Ghostbusters. I kept Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. I think we. Yeah. So we can all agree. <laughs> um, so he said Alien. Yeah. I changed that to Aliens. Walker would agree with me. Yeah, I think. I, now, because I think they're two different kind of movies. I think one is like, I don't know, how do I describe it? It's like horror suspense. Yeah, suspense. one is like, one is more horror over more action. Yes. So I like Aliens because it's more action. Because I'm more of, I like more of the action. You know, one thing about Alien I didn't think I didn't realize until recently was that when the alien rips out of his chest and they go hunting it, they think it's like a little rat thing the entire movie. Well, half the movie. So that's right. why I'm like. 
Mm. Why are they going off on their own, doing things, whatever? I'm like, oh, they think they're chasing a rat, a ferret. But then, like, then it shows up and it's like, hey, what's going on? How you doing? (laughs) Okay. Yeah, I never thought of that. Yeah. Okay. Not that, (laughs) not that I revolutionary thought I just had, but you know. Okay. So the next one, I wait. Where where did we go? Alien. Yeah. Oh, you had Ghostbusters. I kept Ghostbusters on there. Aliens. Um, and then Mystery Men, I replaced with Caddyshack. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I don't think Mystery Man even really made the list. Oh, no. didn't we? We kicked it off instantly. Yeah, I mean, maybe for Aliens. I mean, I just don't know how you do a top ten without Caddyshack on it. No, you're right. You're right. How many times have we watched that movie? I I don't even know if there's a number. <laughs> well, I just Ted Knight in that movie is just the funniest oh. thing in the history of. We watched comedy. Caddyshack just recently to show Walker. Yeah, and we went on a Rodney Dangerfield trip after that. We watched uh, <laughs> Back to School. Back to School and uh, Ladybugs. The, oh, okay, the not Easy Money. Movie. Is that Easy Money a little too? Yeah, that one was a little. Rough. Ladybugs didn't age as well as the other movies did. <laughs> Like, L- Ladybugs didn't? No. With Jonathan Brand Jonathan, what's his name? R- that's the one who R.I.P. Yeah, okay. But cool. yeah, he like dresses up dresses him up like a little girl and there's like a lot of like they come out of the dress room together and he's like, Oh, it's too tight and he's like, Oh, you'll get used to it and some lady's like <laughs> Oh, so it's like it's two tier comedy? It's like oh, kids it's- like it because it's it's silly. It's a silly a, soccer movie like and then adults cause... like it because they put in like what movie well, I just but, watched we me and what movie was I just watching that did the same as Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Okay. You gotta watch Honey, I Shrunk the Kids because it does that like tiered like there are jokes for the kids and then there's like this you know Other thing a- adult yeah. jokes and you're just like wait a second did they really just say that in a movie from Disney in 1989? But <laughs> anyway. Um, Alright, last one. Bullet, Bullet. Which I like Bullet but I replaced it with Conan. Conan. Oh, okay. Because we'd had no there's no It's kind of the same movie. I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I the the sword and sorcery <laughs> and cars driving through San Francisco. Exactly the same movie. I cry for bullets. Yeah. So that was my ten. It's a good list. Yeah, good list. But I don't think I replaced much. Let me say one, two. Mine's all musicals, so it doesn't really <laughs> doesn't really make sense. It's true. Yeah. The Music Man and <laughs> Grease. Grease. You know, West Side Story. Xanadu. Xanadu. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. This is another episode of Dork Court. Maybe Larry will be back next time. I don't know. Yeah. You guys have taken over, right? Yeah. Now. Oh. You got a catchphrase? We always say, Oh. good luck, everybody. Make up a catchphrase. Hmm. Good night and good luck. <laughs> good night and good luck. How would I don't do? put your lips on that. You don't know where it's been. Doctor. <laughs>